today is another big day for the Higgs boson. And this time is the turn of Fermilab. The question is, we don't know quite where these things are going to turn up, so I'm going to look at the, the various conference notes, such as the Atlas conference notes, nothing new there. Uh, Fermilab has set up a nice page for us, which has just got a one-liner saying they're going to post something interesting there soon. <laughs> so these talks are going on now as we speak. There's still not very many people who, who do the, the blogging. There's been nothing like it before, so it's, it's allowing people, a range of people, from people with inside the experiments to theorists and to people just from outside who have a bit of expert knowledge like myself to, um, to report on things uh, in a way that's, that can be um, a bit different from what the, the mass media does, so we can be a bit more technical if we want to, it's a lot more informal. It can also be very controversial with uh, there's lots of opinions, lots of um, arguments and, uh, and stuff, but that just adds to the, the thrill of it, I think. There's a sliding scale. I really like the fact that, that, you can, that the information is out there now at varying levels of detail, varying levels of reliability. But if you want to find out more from, about a story, you're not limited to three minutes on the Today programme plus reading the journal paper. There's a lot of stuff in between yeah, now, I mean, which is yeah. good. There's always a bit of rivalry to get... Um, to get something out first. One of my fellow bloggers, Tomasa Dorigo, has posted some information. Ah, good, good, good. So we have apparently a 2.2 standard deviation signal. There it is. So if there was no Higgs boson, you would actually expect the black line to follow this dotted line here. Uh, but it's not, it's, it's way up here. So that means they've seen more events that could be a Higgs boson decay than expected. Uh, so this is really a very nice result and it's, it's great that the, the Tevatron have been able to come in at this late stage and uh, say something worth listening to. That's the data I've just read in, being replotted. That's the new combination. For me as a physicist, um, I find it useful to have that rough reckoning of what it's the, the significance of the experiments combined is because um, obviously the official combination will take a, a relatively long time to produce and I could sit down and spend a couple of days, you know, calculating uh, this myself by hand, but you know, and making sure I've got it right and all that stuff, but that's, that's, that's a lot of work and uh, it's very interesting to have someone producing these for you to just look at. But consistency with the other results is what we were hoping for. So well done to CDF and D0 for this nice final Higgs result from them. Okay, that's good. Let's tick a few categories and publish that.